Hey everybody and welcome, this is your host Umair back with yet another video and today we will be discussing about Diffy AI and how to create apps, softwares in minutes with Diffy AI. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. So currently if you search Diffy AI on to uh, basically on a browser, you can see, let me just remove this. So you will come across this particular platform so a lot of people are confused in finding the authentic platform so this is going to be the one and once you are onto the site you will be able to see this kind of blue background showing up onto your screen so basically what this is you can create your applications web apps storefronts and different kind of softwares let's just say software as a service maybe different kind of, uh, you can see like RIG pipelines, prompt ID. So all of this is basically offered within the platform and it is going to be a, a prompt based scenario. So let's just dive right in and, uh, and see what it has to offer. If I click onto the product on top, you will be able to see we are going to be uh, having the features and products it offers you can see we have uh, we have chatbots and ai assistance for specific industries we have creative document generation without length uh, limits we have explore agents and much more so you can give it a try to these let me just accept these cookies now i'm going to be really quickly signing into the platform and see what it has to offer so for that what you can do is click on this get started button and we're going to be diving right into that. So here you can see we have two different options to sign in. I'm going to do it with my Google account. So let's just click on Google and try doing that. All right. So you can see it was pretty quick and we are right onto our platform and our dashboard. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see much more clearly what we have, what it has to offer. If I click onto the explore section on the top left side of your screen on the navigation bar, you can see we have different type of apps offered by Diffy. We have our GPT researcher engine. We have different types of exception handling, chat paper, file translation, and much, much more. So you can maybe find use in these and if you want to develop something from scratch you're going to be heading over to the studio section on top here we have this all so let's just say you want to build a chatbot you can head over to your chatbot section and right below you can see we have three different options we can create from blank get a head start with a template so you can create with a template or we can import dsl file now Let's just try the templates and what it has to offer. So you can see we are right onto the free, uh, application page. And let's just say I want to simply develop some kind of um, a minor project which is going to be maybe a little application related to, let's just say, um, I'm going to simply search for, let's just see what is going to be interesting. So let's just go with maybe file translation i'm going to use this template you can enter your description your name so let's just rename it to new test project just like that sorry about the typos okay so now we have our you can see uh, our project is created so you can see flow diagram here and this is going to be in uh, structure basically a skeleton structure for how it is going to be working so you can see we have our start and we have our declarations for the text and target languages then we have our if and else statements we have our document extractor variable assigner LLM translate and much more so all this is going to be basically serving as the translation that we are going to be doing. So it is going to be using the uh, GPT-40 model to simply um, translate whatever we are trying to do. So you can see this is where the workflow begins. The user is prompted to upload a document and select target language for translate uh, translation. And coming across all these steps, the node handles translation of the extracted text using an AI language model based on the user's selected target. So you can customize these steps and you can see if I click on preview, 
this is how it is going to be looking so this looks pretty decent if I want to simply uh, translate I can do that language to be translated in this is type in here Turkish and we also have a bot uh, created below so this is type hi and see what this is going to be doing so this is going to be basically working once you upload your document or your you also can paste your file in here which needs to be translated now you can see we have on the interface we have different kind of stuff going on so we have our APIs going on that we can incorporate we have our service API strongly recommended storing your API key on the server side not shared or stored by client side we have our logs and n and we also have our monitoring section basically which will be helping us to get a statistical analysis of pretty much everything that we are performing onto the site so we have our monitoring analysis and yeah so that is going to be pretty much it for this and if i head over to my orchestrate so this is going to be uh, the section where you can actually build the actual product so if i click on the tools i have multiple tools in here like for example we have perplexity google and if i head over to my workflows currently no workflows tool is available you can also create your custom tool and for the built-in you're going to be finding different type of tools we even have brave and various others youtube and much more now jumping back to the studio this is from where you can access your project or you can if you want to create a new project maybe you want to delete it or duplicate it or even export a dsl format you can do that as well so yeah if i click onto that similar project is going to be showing up and yeah so if you want to make modifications you can do that you can organize your blocks you can have your hand model which is currently selected you have your pointer you can use that for selection and of course maybe if you want to select multiple blocks and apply some edits if i click on this you can see we have change block copy duplicate and various other stuff so if i click on any of these blocks you can see we have it's a different type of properties showing up so we have the same exact settings that we get by clicking on this option we can add description input variables and you can define your variables from here then you have your output variables so pretty decent right now if you have any questions related to diffy and i'm going to be assisting you in the comments below if you want to ask or learn something in depth about diffy how it actually how to create this kind of products you can let us know and yeah that was pretty much it for this video make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more and see you guys in the next video